Have you ever wondered how the Tesla coil, a device that can produce enormous voltages, actually works? This marvel of engineering was invented by none other than the brilliant Nikola Tesla in the late 19th century. Tesla, a genius ahead of his time, created a device that could generate high voltage, low current, high frequency, alternating current electricity. It's an achievement that continues to captivate and inspire to this day. The Tesla coil is not just a scientific curiosity or a spectacle for lightning shows. It's a testament to human ingenuity and the power of electricity. It's a piece of history, a tangible connection to a time when the world was on the brink of an electrical revolution. It's a symbol of the incredible power that can be harnessed and controlled through engineering and innovation. In this video, we unravel the mystery behind the workings of a Tesla coil. Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel, Core Electrical Engineering. To understand the working of a Tesla coil, it's crucial to first familiarize ourselves with its basic components. Imagine a Tesla coil as a high voltage resonant transformer. It's a bit like a musical instrument and its main components are the primary coil, secondary coil, spark gap, and power source. Let's start with the power source. This is the heart of the Tesla coil, providing the electrical energy that fuels the entire process. The power source is usually a high voltage transformer or a capacitor bank, which stores and releases the energy needed to create that iconic Tesla coil spark. Next up is the primary coil. This component acts as the first step in the transformation process. It's made up of only a few turns of thick wire and is connected to the power source. When electricity from the power source enters the primary coil, it creates a magnetic field around the coil. Now let's talk about the secondary coil. This is the tall, thin component you're likely to notice first when you see a Tesla coil. The secondary coil, made up of many turns of thin wire, sits within the magnetic field created by the primary coil. When the magnetic field collapses, it induces a high voltage in the secondary coil. This voltage is much higher than the one initially provided by the power source, and that's how a Tesla coil steps up voltage. Finally, we have the spark gap. This is a simple device that acts as a switch. When the voltage across the spark gap exceeds a certain threshold, it fires, allowing current to flow from the primary coil to the secondary coil. This sudden flow of current is what creates the Tesla coil's characteristic spark. So in essence, the power source gives the Tesla coil its energy, the primary coil starts the transformation process, the secondary coil steps up the voltage, and the spark gap controls the flow of current. Now that we know the basic components, let's dive into how they work together to create those impressive sparks. The Tesla coil's journey to creating high voltage starts with the power source and the primary coil. Now, Let's delve into the role they play in this fascinating process. The power source is the starting point of the Tesla coil's operation. It provides the initial electrical charge that sets everything else in motion. Picture it as the heart of the Tesla coil pumping electricity like blood through the system. This electricity then moves on to charge the primary coil. The primary coil is a large coil of wire wound into several turns. It's like a winding road for the electricity to travel. As the power source charges the primary coil, something truly intriguing happens. The electrical current flowing through the coil generates a magnetic field. This magnetic field is not static. It alternates in sync with the changes in the electrical current. This is due to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, which states that a change in the magnetic field within a coil of wire induces a voltage in the wire. So in a way, we have a dance of energy occurring with electricity and magnetism taking turns leading. The magnetic field created by the primary coil is not solely confined within the coil. It extends outward, reaching into the space around the coil. This is where the magic of the Tesla coil really starts to unfold. The expanding and collapsing magnetic field created by the primary coil is ready to interact with the secondary coil, which we'll talk about in the next scene. Now you might be thinking, that's all well and good, but what's the point of all this? Well, the magnetic field created by the primary coil is the first step to achieving the Tesla coil's ultimate goal, high voltage. It's like the foundation of a skyscraper, setting the stage for the towering spectacle to be built upon it. The primary coil's magnetic field is the first step in the Tesla coil's high voltage production. But what happens next is even more intriguing. The magic really begins with the secondary coil and the spark gap. 
The secondary coil, a longer winding of wire, is situated within the magnetic field of the primary coil. This positioning is no accident. It's the crux of the Tesla coil's operation. As the primary coil pulses with electricity, it creates a fluctuating magnetic field around it. The secondary coil residing within this magnetic field becomes a recipient of this energy. Picture it like a dance where the primary coil leads and the secondary coil follows, each step in perfect harmony. Now you might be wondering, how does this energy transfer happen? Well, it's all thanks to a phenomenon known as electromagnetic induction. This is a process where a change in the magnetic field within a coil of wire induces a voltage in a nearby coil. And voila, the energy from the primary coil is now in the secondary coil. But what about the spark gap? Well, think of the spark gap as a type of switch, but not your everyday light switch. This switch has a bit more flair. The spark gap allows the energy to build up to a high voltage before it's released. The energy is stored in a capacitor which is connected to the spark gap. When the voltage across the capacitor reaches a certain level, the air in the spark gap ionizes, becoming conductive and allowing the energy to flow across it. It's like a dam holding back water until it reaches a certain level, then releasing it all at once. The spark that jumps across the gap is not just for show, it signifies the moment when all that stored energy is released sending a powerful surge of electricity into the secondary coil. This sudden influx of energy is what gives the Tesla coil its ability to produce those spectacular sparks we all know and love. So in essence, the dance between the secondary coil and the spark gap is a crucial part of the Tesla coil's operation. The secondary coil receives energy from the primary coil, the spark gap controls when that energy is released, and the result is a breathtaking display of electrical power. The interaction between the secondary coil and the spark gap is what allows the Tesla coil to produce those magnificent high voltages. The phenomenon of resonance is the secret ingredient that makes the Tesla coil work. You might wonder, what exactly is this mysterious phenomenon? Well, in the simplest terms, resonance is the process by which an object is made to vibrate at its natural frequency by applying an external force at the same frequency. Let's imagine a child on a swing. If you push the swing at just the right moment, in sync with the swing's natural rhythm, the child will swing higher and higher. That's resonance in action. If you push at the wrong time, though, you'll disrupt the swing's rhythm and the child won't go very high. It's all about timing and matching frequencies. Now, how does this relate to a Tesla coil? It's all about the primary and secondary coils. These two coils are designed to have the same resonant frequency. The primary coil, powered by the power source, starts the process. It creates an oscillating magnetic field that resonates at its natural frequency. Here's where the magic happens. The secondary coil, located within the magnetic field of the primary coil, starts to resonate in response. Because the two coils are working at the same resonant frequency, the secondary coil is able to absorb a lot of energy from the primary coil's magnetic field. This absorbed energy is what makes the secondary coil vibrate at an incredibly high frequency. And as it vibrates, it generates a significantly high voltage. This high voltage is what creates the spectacular sparks that Tesla coils are famous for. The beauty of resonance in a Tesla coil is that it allows for the amplification of voltage to a very high level without the need for any additional power source. It's a brilliant example of how we can harness the natural properties of objects to create something truly extraordinary. And there you have it, the fascinating process of how a Tesla coil works. The Tesla coil, an engineering marvel, is not as mystifying when we break down its workings. We started our journey with the basic components that make up this impressive device, each playing a crucial part in its operation. The power source and primary coil kickstart the process, generating the initial electrical current and magnetic field. Moving on, we explored the secondary coil and spark gap. These components amplify the power and create that awe-inspiring spectacle of high-voltage sparks, but the real magic, as we discovered, lies in the phenomenon of resonance, a dance between electricity and magnetism, enhancing the Tesla coil's output to mesmerizing heights, this understanding of the Tesla coil's workings peels back the layers of mystery and reveals the elegant symphony of science and engineering at play. So the next time you see a Tesla coil in action, 
you'll know the fascinating science behind those high-voltage sparks.